brain does a lot of things for me, and this is a very good example. Is there anyone in here who signs for the hearing impaired? Is there anyone in here who has attempted to learn to sign for the hearing impaired? Anybody? Uh, did you find it to be tough? I think it's the most difficult thing I have ever attempted, and here is why. You learn the signs going one way in your brain at your brain's rate of speed. When you communicate with a hearing impaired person, the signs come at you backwards at their brain's rate of speed, which will always be faster than ours because this is how they communicate every single day. But often if I speak at a corporate client as opposed to the theater show, they'll say, now, Jeannie, we're bringing in everybody, and we have a section over here of hearing impaired employees. Don't you worry about it. We, you know, we have an interpreter, and so there won't be any kind of a problem there. And I said, well, you know, I make my living as a communicator. Wouldn't it at least be nice if I could go up to these people before the speech and sign my name is J-E-A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. I am your speaker. Well, the first time I did this, <laughs> the hearing impaired people were so appreciative that they all jumped up and started signing back. <laughs> and when they finished, I did all I knew again. My name is Jay. And I felt like a fake because I had implied by marching myself up there that I knew more about this than I really know. So I went home and said to Left Brain, you know what I'm going to do? All that time I have sitting in airports between these speeches, I'm going to learn the entire language. And one night I am going to sign a complete story and not speak it and let the people that they work with every day sit there and wonder what are they talking about and left brain said well honey if you go learn it i'll learn it too and you can have somebody to practice with oh oh he attacked learning sign language he made 1,800 flashcards, <laughs> and he memorized them in two weeks. It took me months, and I still get it confused. But he memorized them with that left brain, and he never mastered the art of turning his hand toward a hearing-impaired person. So what this means is... <laughs> If we are talking with any of our friends who is hearing impaired, they have to walk along behind me. <laughs> One night I got stranded in the Denver airport. I couldn't get a flight out. I couldn't get a hotel room, a bad storm, and all of us just sitting up in there all night, nowhere to go. And about 3 a.m., I thought, well, this wouldn't be a bad time for me to take some of these flashcards that left brain stuffed into my rolling cart when he took over my project and go into the ladies' restroom and practice at the mirror for that reverse effect. And I just tell you this as a reminder of how little we know about people when they're not exactly like we are. Two teenage girls came in, and they saw me standing there practicing. And they started giggling, just stopping, and went around the corner. And one of them said, what's she doing? And the other one said, don't you know anything she can't hear? She's talking to herself. 